Congratulations, you have finished the lesson on uh, the different perspectives about how the country was going to reconstruct the South. Again, this gives us insight into how people worked to solve the crisis of putting the country back together after the Civil War. And this connects to us today because similar to how people were going to put the country back together after Reconstruction, right now, after the coronavirus and COVID-19 is done, we're going to have to decide how we are going to put the country back together. And similar to our current events articles that we're doing in our lessons, and similar to looking at different perspectives, we know not everybody agrees. There are different perspectives, different points of view. And what determines the future is whose points of view are listened to and which ones kind of win out versus other ones. You're, in your independent practice question, again, you were, came up with which of these plans do you think is better and why? And real world, people are doing this right now when people are saying, well, some politicians are saying we should do this up to solve the coronavirus and some are saying we should do this or some businesses are saying that we're going to do that or do this. What do you think that's good? Do you think that's bad? Do you agree with this person or do you agree with that person? And you are going to have to make decisions for yourself about which one you think is better, who you agree with and who you don't agree with and what you want out of the world and who is on your side and who is not. And this is part of being an involved, active person that is part of the process of shaping and creating the world in the future, rather than just being somebody who again, passively waits for the world to happen to them. History is made by people who are involved, not just people who are sitting there and waiting. And so for you to be involved in part of shaping the future in the move, like moving forward when you're in charge and people your age are running the country, it's going to take us having reasons for why we believe what we do and working with other people to say, hey, I think we should do this. This is why. This is why it's a good thing and why it matters. And we can all hopefully work together to make the world better rather than just having people who want to take advantage of us, people who want the world to be worse because they just want to be rich or powerful, be the only ones that are listened to. If we're all listened to, if we're involved in part of the process, then the world can be better. But again, if we just wait and let the rich and powerful make our decisions for us, then I don't think things will really end up that great. So again, practice these skills. These are real life skills where you are going to be have to be involved in the world around you. And it's incredibly important, not just for today, but for the future and moving forward. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, getting practice on identifying people's perspectives and seeing its importance on how it actually plays out and really shaping and creating the world. And Tuesday, again, we're going to keep doing more current events to give you practice to be a better informed person about making these decisions in the real world we live in right now and in the future. So it's better for all of us. So again, thank you for doing this lesson. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And of course, I will see you again in our next lesson. And definitely contact me if you have any questions at all about anything you learned in class, just want to say hi, or talk about things going on in the world right now. I'm always here for you. So thanks again, and have a great rest of your day.